Before I start this video, I expect that you've already reached level 1500 in second C. How to go to third C? You just need to go to Coliseum, make sure that you finish the quests. Here, there you go. Talk to King Redhead. You will fight someone, Indra, etc. etc. Go to the green zone after that. Talk to Mr. Captain and you will reach third C. Congratulations to you! Now time to reach max level. With the actor slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Hello, gamer nom is back. So for this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to reach without using Robux or game passes. So we are here in the second C, Forgotten Island. So first, we're gonna level up with the Sea Soldier. Gamer no why Sea Soldier? Check this out guys, we will get 33,500,000 experience. Why here in the third C guys, the first quest, the Pirate Millionaire will only give you 35 million, but you will get hit. There's a chance that you will die and your fingers will get tired dodging, etc. So again, focus here. See that guys? Logi effect. Just kill them. In this part of the video, I started leveling up my electric. There, you see that? Just leveling up my electric because I plan to unlock electric claw. There you go. So guys, it's very easy. If you want, if you don't want to like level up your electric, you can lure four at a time. Defeat them. Level up fast. Okay? Okay, so guys, I hope this is clear. We're gonna level up first in the Sea Soldiers. Gamer Nom, until what level? You're gonna level up here till you reach 1560. After that, after that, you can now go to the third C. First, we're gonna start defeating, yes, the Pirate Millionaires. There you go, you see? Logi effect. How do you do that? Lure 4 on the right side of the Quest Giver. Or there you go, use your skills, etc. Again, no dodging. Right? Bursting your enemies, everything will be faster. You're gonna do this until you reach level 1580, I think. I, I kinda forgot to record that part wherein the Logi effect was activated in the Pistol Billionaire. So here you go, here is the Pistol Billionaire located. You need to defeat 8. Okay, so here you go. So lure 4. 1, 2, three four and defeat them and wait for them to spawn and defeat them again oh i almost forgot you can start defeating the what do you call this the boss in this island the stone i'm telling you guys it's easy to defeat just dodge sideways don't be static just keep moving and you will defeat him make sure to damage him okay okay there you go so the stone so far, so good, right, guys? Question, gamer nom. Can I use other fruits? Yes, as long as it's logia, I think. Okay, there you go. The next mob is located in the next island, the Hydra Island. So we're gonna go there. But there's a problem. I think there's a bug here. Wait, let me go there first. Here's the there from the port. There you go. There you go. That's the island. That's the Hydra Island. And the next quest is located near the friendly arena. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, there you go. So, for the first mob, we are going to defeat the Dragon Crew Warriors. Logia will take effect at 1640 or something like that, but check this out, guys. They're far apart. You can lure three, right? After defeating them, you need to look for one more. And it is located here. Guys, you cannot lure all four at the same time because they're far apart. So finishing one quest means like four sets of skills. Aside from that, there's a bug. I don't know if this is a bug or a skill. Check that out, guys. The enemy's running away from me. So I decided to go back to the port island and just level up there. So our goal is to reach level 1660 and start defeating the dragon crew archers. I'm gonna show you the location. There you go. We're just gonna fly. There you go. And here. So guys, you can lure four at a time. And in two sets, you can finish a quest. It's kinda easy because the Logia is in effect at, again, level 1660. For those experiencing the bug, I found a way to like uh, stop them from running away. You can use your stun or the sea skill here from the light fruit. For our goal, we need to reach level 1685 to move to the next mob. Guys, we're gonna skip 
a mob here and that mob is the giant islander why because it has hockey so focus on leveling up to 1685 and start defeating the female islander again 1685 i'm gonna show you a way on how to lure them so first you need to lure two from here there you go lure two defeat them fast okay next up lure two again and defeat them after that go back to where you started there you go and defeat the two so that's one set you can also start defeating the boss here at 1675 level. Gamerdom, is there an easy way to defeat her? Yes, just hit her and hide here. She won't reach you here. It will take time, but it's a sure win. So Gamerdom, how long are we gonna stay in the Hydra Island? So aside from defeating this boss, you will go back to your previous mob. You will need to level up here until you reach 1789 and proceed to the Great Tree. Guys, check this out. This is the first mob, Marine Commodore at 1700. Guys, it has a hockey. We're gonna skip that and focus on the Marine Rear Admiral. Again, the Logia effect, it will take effect when you reach level 1789. When you do that, guys, check this out. There you go, log effect. Again, 1789, but you can still get damage by their skill. There you go, their uh, whirlwind or whatever you call that. So, the technique is defeat one at a time. You just need to burst it. Hit him seven times with your normal attack and then use a skill. And that's it, guys. Check this out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Use your skills. There you go. Notice that they won't be using their skill, the whirlwind or whatever you call that skill. Comment it in the comment section, guys. So during this level up phase, I'm kind of getting bored. Because again, I keep on clicking. My fingers are getting tired even with this strategy. So I found a way to make things more interesting. So aside from defeating the mobs, you can fly towards the castle on the sea. And for every 10 minutes, you can get a quest from the elite hunter. He will ask you to defeat an elite player. He will tell you the location etc like for example this one defeat diablo it will give you experience shard and it is also a requirement to unlock the yama i think that's enma the sword of odin correct me if i'm wrong don't worry guys on my next video i will be covering all those locations and we're gonna unlock enma yama okay guys so now when you reach level 1845 you can now proceed to the last island of this map and start defeating the fishman raider don't forget to save. <laughs> okay now, Logia effect at 1845. Two ways to finish the quest. Defeat one fishman raider at a time to avoid it from using its skill. Again, it has a skill even though you have the Logia effect, you can still get hit. Check this out guys. I tried luring four. It's kind of hard to escape. But guys, there are two types of players. The one who likes everything easier or the one just like Eros is my brother who likes grinding, dodging, etc. So... He lured the enemies, there you go, he farmed, and he was able to do it. Guys, it's faster to be honest. But me, I chose the easier way around. Kill one, go to the next one, and chill. So for the next mob, when you reach level 1870, you can start defeating the Fishman Captain. Guys, here you go. This is kinda easy to be honest. Just lure three, defeat those three. Again guys, here you cannot hit by their skill so again easy way to level up just hit them use your skills there you go so the question is when will we move to the next mob guys i decided not to move to the next mob because of this you can get 58 million 500 thousand with one quest here for the next mob the reward is 61 million experience for the forest pirates next stop you will get 64 million but guys those are all hockey users i suggest if you have the chance you just defeat the captain elephant how do you defeat him guys it's kind of easy just stay in the air so use your c skill there you go jump twice and you can use your skill again he won't be able to hit you and when you've damaged him enough and you're brave enough to defeat him face to face then go for it but for me, again, I'm always choosing the easier way around. <laughs> there you go. 
So guys, after this, go back to the previous mob. Again, the Fishman Captain. Until you reach level 1980. And in the Jungle Pirate, your Logia effect will be activated. And level up here until you reach max level. So guys, you don't need to defeat all the mobs here. Just make sure that you make the most out of your time. It doesn't mean that if it gives higher experience, things will be faster. Okay? Okay, so I hope that this video was able to help you. I hope that you reach max level 2 and start unlocking other accessories, awakened fruits, etc. So that would be it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, next up, I'm gonna show you the fastest and easiest way to unlock the Yama Sword or the Enma Sword, okay? Again, that would be it. Max level achieved. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.